Hi all, welcome back to a new video for Rila. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the employee portal. So employee portal is a vital tool for the companies providing a centralized platform where employees can access important information, resources and services. It serves as a bridge between the organization and its workforce, streamlining communication and enhancing productivity. So when a candidate is hired, a portal link is sent to the candidate a uh, candidate and uh, the candidate can log into the portal link and create their profile and uh, they can access the employee portal via that so let's see how we can do that so first we can uh, go to the uh, hired candidates list which we can view in the uh, candidates view which is under the onboarding so we can go to the candidates view and here we have all the hired candidates so Let's send the portal link to the candidate Sophia Carter. So by clicking on this button, we can send a portal link to the candidate. So let's click on that and uh, we have to select the template that needs to be sent to the candidate. So let's uh, select the offer letter. And if you want to attach any uh, files or something, we can do that over here and we can send the portal link. So we'll get a message that the uh, the portal link is sent to the candidate. So let's go to the uh, mail and uh, check the portal link. So this is the mail that was uh, uh, that will be received by the candidate. So here we can see the offer letter that we have sent to the candidate. And we can see that congratulations job offer it for luck. So the company's name and the candidate's uh, name has been filled since we have um, choosing the template over there, of a letter template over there. And here we can see the username so that the candidate can log into the employee portal and the candidate can then create the password. So let's go back and uh, the candidate can complete the profile by clicking on the complete profile button over here. So we'll get a new window where we can set a password. So let's set a password. You have to confirm the password. We can go to the next step. So we'll get a message uh, saying welcome aboard Sophia Carter and uh, if you want to create uh, give a upload a profile picture we can just choose a file so and we can upload the image and uh, so the profile picture is updated successfully and we can go to the next step and in the next step we have to provide the personal details so the first name the name and the um, phone has been auto populated since we have given it already so we can uh, we have to fill all the details over here we have to provide all the uh, personal details so the employee can themselves uh, themselves create the um, create their profile by by giving all the details so we have to provide a zip code and the date of birth let's give a date of birth and uh, we can select the gender, the qualification, and experience also. And we can give the uh, marital status and children. And we have to provide a, a emergency contact number and a contact mail also. Then the relation of the emergency uh, emergency contact rel relation. So next we are we can go to the next step and. Uh, here uh, we have to give the bank details so let's provide the bank details we have to give the bank name the account number the branch the address we have to select the country the state and the city and we also have to provide the bank code so now we can click on finish onboarding over here and uh, We'll get a message welcome aboard and we can go to the next step and in the next step we'll uh, enter into the employee portal so this is the employee portal for sophia so from here we can see the profile and uh, we can change the password if you want to and uh, we can also log out from here and uh, in the so this is the dashboard of the employee employee portal uh, here we can see different uh, details of the company that is the employees chart of the company the gender chart the department chart and uh, if any announcements uh, are there we can view it over here and uh, the on leave the employee work information all these can be viewed in the dashboard and next the employee have their uh, employee menu and under the employee menu we have the profile 
they can view the profile with all the details the about the work type shift their attendance and everything can be viewed over here and uh, then then uh, we can view the uh, complete employees uh, those who are working in the company currently there that can be viewed over here and uh, if any shift request have to be given we can view it over here and uh, if there are any shift requests we'll we can view it over here and we can also create a new shift request uh, by clicking on this button so uh, here we have to give the employee name or uh, the employee name is auto populated since uh, we are we have entered from this employees portal and uh, we can give a so requesting shift over here uh, the requested date and uh, until when we need this shift and uh, we have to provide the description also and if this is a permanent request we can just uh, switch on this uh, toggle and we can save this so this is the shift request and uh, if any work type requests are there we can view it over here and we can also create new work type requests over here and we have to we can give the uh, requesting work type over here and we have to give the description also and uh, if this is a permanent request we can switch on this and let's see this so this is the work type request and if any disciplinary action was taken against this employee we can view it over here and the company policies can be seen the organization chart that is uh, under whom the employee comes under and uh, then we have the attendance module where we can view the attendance requests any and we can also create the attendance request the employee can create the attendance request and they can choose the work type the check in date their shift and the check in uh, check out and uh, the work hours they can provide the work hours over here and uh, let's keep eight hours 30 minutes since the minimum worker is given as eight hours 15 minutes we have to give in give a description also and we can click on the request so the attendance request has been created and uh, next we have the hour account over here and uh, the attendance activities in attendance activities we can view it over here and uh, if there are any late come or early out for this employee that can be viewed under this and then we have the my attendance so these uh, this is a uh, attendance of this employee and uh, then we have the leave module where the employee can view the uh, their uh, leave request their allo leave allocation request their restricted leaves and all so this is the dashboard of the leave module uh, where they can view any new request the approved request uh, the rejected request and the public uh, holidays that are upcoming and uh, the available leaves the total leave re request etc and then they can view the my leave request over here the leave allocation request the restrict leaves over here and uh, then we have the payroll where we can view the pay slips and uh, the encashments and reimbursements and uh, then the employee can view the performance so this is the performance dashboard where uh, they can get the uh, get uh, so many uh, feedbacks and all so like uh, total key results and uh, total feedbacks etc and uh, next we have the objectives any objectives that were created for this employee and then we have the 360 feedback view and if any meetings were created we can view it over here and the employee bonus point and then we have the assets where uh, we can request there and a request and a location can be viewed then we have the asset history uh, so for the uh, asset history we do not have the permission the employee do not have the permission to view the asset history so that message is shown and then we have the help desk and in the help desk we have the FAQs and the tickets so this is the employee portal where employee can view all their details so hope it's clear thank you for watching